I test drive cars for a living. I've driven fast cars, fancy cars, and a few not so fancy cars. But I've never had the chance to drive the automobile that started it all, the Model T Ford. So when I was in Detroit for the auto show, I took a side trip to visit the Henry Ford Museum for a test drive of a different kind. Are you ready for a driving lesson? Yes. Okay, this is like nothing you've ever driven before. You're gonna see three pedals on the floor. Your right pedal is your brake. The middle pedal is reverse. Yep. The left pedal is a clutch. Now they call it a clutch, but it doesn't work like a standard clutch that we use today. I'm gonna show you how this works. I have a parking brake over here. Where's the gas pedal? There is no gas pedal. Okay. That's a good, that's a great question. You're saying, how do I make it go? You see this right here? Uh -huh. This is your accelerator. Wow. So it has a wow. hand throttle. There's a reason the old timers call it the Model T dance. Getting the car to move smoothly where you want it to go is a complicated process. So you're going to gonna push, your, you're gonna pull, you gotta push your left pedal to the floor and give it gas. Nice! <laughs> All right, now let your gas up okay. and let your left foot up. Whoa. Now you're in second gear. Okay. You're doing wonderful, and I have to tell you something. Okay. You're the first person I've ever driven with for the very first time that did not stall the car really? when you were oh, yes. gosh. I'm very impressed. I'm very Thank impressed. You. The Model T has an inline four cylinder engine with only 20 horsepower. It could go up to 45 miles per hour if you're on a slight downhill with the wind behind you. The normal speed for a horse and buggy is five to eight miles per hour, so this was definitely an improvement. Oh, and here's one more idiosyncrasy with the Model T. The 10 gallon fuel tank doesn't have a fuel gauge on the dash, so you kind of just have to guess how far you've gone and assume you get about 20 miles to the gallon, which it should be noted is better gas mileage than many cars on the road today. Here's the biggest surprise. The Model T is actually pretty rugged, you don't have to be precious with it. It did great in the snow. Model T's were actually made to be able to cross farms and mountains in inclement weather. You just had to be sure to carry extra blankets when you did. It was 12 degrees the day of my driving lesson and I was definitely wishing the heating technology was a little more advanced. I'm pretty sure that back in the day, the cold didn't dampen too many spirits. The quiet clicking sound the engine makes when the car runs the wide leg space, the comfortable leather seats, and the beautiful interior brass details all make for a smooth, fun ride. It's no surprise that Henry Ford became so successful with his new creation. This was the car that really started it all.